हेलो डी स्टूडेंट्स स्वागत है आप सभी का हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल ब्रेन ट्यूबर्स पे आज हम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव्स के एक प्रॉब्लम के साथ हैं सो लेट्स सी दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट हेयर शो दैट द रेडियस ऑफ राइट सर्कुलर सिलेंडर ऑफ ग्रेटेस्ट कर्व सर्फेस एरिया व्हिच कैन बी इंस्क्राइब इन अ गिवन राइट सर्कुलर कोन इज हाफ ऑफ दैट ऑफ कोन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल ऑफ यू रीड दिस क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन we have to show that the radius of right circular cylinder radius of right circular cylinder of greatest curve surface area which can be inscribed in a right circular cone that means there is a cone inside the cone we have to inscribe a cylinder with greatest curve surface area and we have to prove that the radius of right circular cylinder is half of that of cone that means cylinder's radius is half of the cone's radius so let us suppose this is our cone and the height and radius of the cone let's say they are given suppose the height of the cone is capital h let's say and radius of the cone is let's say capital r inside this cone we have to inscribe a right circular cylinder so let's suppose the right circular cylinder inside this is this and we have to prove that if the curved surface area of this cylinder is maximum then the radius of this cylinder will be half of capital r this we have to prove so let us given let us given radius of cone is capital r and height of cone is capital h suppose now let me take the radius of cylinder radius of cylinder let's say the cylinder radius is small r and height is let's say small h okay so let's say this height is a small h correct and the radius of this cylinder is small r let's say this is small if this is small r and this whole is total r so this much would be capital r minus small r clear now we have to maximize the curved surface area of this cylinder so let me just write the curved surface area of cylinder cylinder's curved surface area s can be written as 2 pi r h that's the formula for curved surface area is 2 pi r and h here we need to maximize the curve surface area so we need to understand the curve surface area should be written in terms of one variable only but here small r and small h both are variable because the cylinder is inside this cone so this can vary this can be become bigger or can be small right so small r and small h are variable capital r and capital h are fixed which are the capital r is the radius and height is the capital h of cone that is fixed so small r and small h are variable capital h capital r are constant fixed so first of all the s is written in terms of r and h so i'll have to convert this small h in terms of small r so can i get a relation in <coughs> h r capital r and capital h yes we can let me consider this triangle so which triangle i can consider so let me consider this triangle in this triangle if i write suppose this angle if i write the tan theta of this angle tan of this angle will be r upon capital h right similarly now i will consider the next triangle this one here this angle was theta this angle was theta so this angle is also theta so in this triangle i can use tan theta so tan theta can be written as this in whole triangle it was capital r upon capital h now in this small triangle it is r minus r upon small h correct i hope so from here i can get small h is equals to r minus r 
times capital H upon capital R. So I will replace this H here. So I will be getting surface area as 2 pi R. In place of H it is R minus R capital H upon capital R. So now you see small r that's the variable. Everything rest is constant. So this is 2 pi h upon r inside the bracket small r capital R minus small r square. Now to find the maximum value of curve surface area s we need to differentiate this. So s dash that means I have to differentiate with respect to r which is the variable. So that would be 2 pi capital H upon capital R as it is. Small r capital R derivative would be capital R only because we are differentiating with respect to small r minus 2r. To get the <coughs> point of maxima or minima, we'll have to put it equal to 0. Now if I put it equal to 0, I would be getting small r capital R minus 2r is equal to 0. This part will go with 0, so it would be 0. So r will be equal to capital R upon 2. That means if the radius of the cylinder is capital R by 2, then only the maximum or minimum value of surface area will occur. What will it be maximum value or minimum value that we can find by using double derivative test. So what is the second derivative of surface area? Second derivative of second, surface, second derivative of surface area would be 2 pi capital H upon R. Inside this, if I differentiate this, I would be 0 minus 2. So this double derivative is negative. If I put R small r equal to capital R by 2, then also it is negative because small r is not present here. So it is not depending on the small r. So double derivative is always negative. Minus 2 it is. This shows that at r equals to capital R by 2, s double derivative is negative. This implies that surface area will be maximum. Right? So hence it is proved that when small r is capital R upon 2, surface area of the cylinder would be maximum. That is what we had to prove in this question. Because we have to prove that the radius of right circular cylinder of greatest curve surface area would be equal to half of that of cone. Correct? So I hope this question is clear to all of you. So thank you for watching the video. All the very best.